Who was Mozart? The wig, costume, and piano. Yes, that was him, the child prodigy. He began to play the harpsichord at three. Made his first appearance in public a year later, with some of his own compositions on the program. His father was his teacher, and his sister Maria also endowed with a gift for music. It was a cheerful family. When little Wolfgang Mozart was six years old, dear Papa took him and his sister on their first concert tour. They went to Vienna. The little boy was so charming. When he played the piano, the emperor sat next to him and said that he was a veritable magician. The empress was delighted too when he told her what a beautiful house she lived in. Later, little Mozart even took the little prince by the hand and said, "Oh, how pretty you are! When I'm grow up, I will marry you." <laughs> The family went on to conquer the world. However, no matter what country they were at, luck always went against them, again and again. A lot of medals and honors, but very little profit. And all the time, he worked, vagrant and destitute. Then came the final year. A nobleman paid generously to Mozart for a requiem. Mozart tried to death and constantly in a fever, mistook the middleman for the death. The man dressed all in black, knocked the door and shouted, "Prepare for the hour has come." The goods were ready for delivery on December fourth, seventeen ninety-one. The next day, so was Mozart's soul. He left over six hundred and twenty-six compositions when he died at the age of thirty-six. What did he gain by it? A pauper's grief. Even no one knew where his final resting place is.